What's up, YouTube? It's December the 16th. Make a quick video, do a walk around of the, uh, the new jumbo 10 foot stand that's got all the tanks on it. Start off in the bottom right hand corner of the stand here. And this is my newest tank, it's a 75. You can see a pair of my Cuban babies. I call them mine because the uh, I bred them here, the parents. So I consider them my children. Now they're just my fish. I like those ones, those two out of the group of babies. And I've got the pair of Jags. This, this man of Gwense here on the right, now on the bottom, the more yellow, that's the male. Upper one is the female. That male is an F1 from a wild caught pair. I no longer have the female wild caught. She was killed, so this is the only offspring from the wild caught pure wildcat pair. So he's an F1, definitely a little male. Here's this little Florida fish farm female. Uh, there's three Fenestratus back there from a pair I had where the male killed the female of those two. Cubanos above them. Got a pair of Bredori in a 40 breeder. Next to them is the pair of Cubans. Got one ugly mug on them, but they have good looking babies. They're in a 50 gallon. I've got all these tanks uh, face to face, so they the way you view on this stand is lengthwise. I think it gives the opportunity for the fish to defend their little territories against the fish next to them without the risk of injury. So they're in a 50. I've got my baby hybrids in a 50 next to them. These are, I guess you'd consider her an F1 Campha or a, a original Campha Skittles and then a Fenestratus male. If you watch my channel, you've seen the pair. This is their most recent spawn. The only babies from those two that I've got. Next door to them is a 55 with a pair of Festays in it. And they've got some babies back here. The male's out trying to bully his neighbors. My seat creaks. The lighting above this is just the under cabinet LEDs. There's two of them, but they're doubled up. So it's four bands of LEDs. And so the lighting isn't the best. The fish really appreciate the dim, the dim lighting. can't see mama. Oh yeah, there she is. Just barely see her back there. So those are the fest days. Next to them are two pairs. One pair of red devils and one pair of convicts. It's a red point hunter and blue male and this pink female coming up close here. This is the first time I've spawned them. I'm just curious to see what the babies look like and then I'll put him back with his Honduran red point female. 
I've got a pair of Jack Daniels Red Devils. And next to them, the Red Tiger Moto. Zoom seems to have better color. And these two were just spawning earlier. Oh yeah, that rock's got a couple on there. Next to them are the Rio Chacamax VA, huh? Their spawning coloration has been pretty washed out. But down in that little nook is their second spawn. Yeah, Papa doesn't like me too close to that. Oh, sorry, that was Mama. No, that's Papa on top. Bob was up close. Back there's a Bacordi Golden Mahara. It's separated by a big acrylic divider, courtesy of Jack Daniels. I don't know if you can see it in there. Below there is the pair of Manic Wednesdays. That's the Wildcat male, Florida fish farm female. So that's the dad of the Manigüense that I showed you in that 75 back there in the bottom of the back bottom. Around the side of this stand is the black belt tent. They've courted a couple of times, but no eggs, no actual spawning. Females below this piece of slate. Center frame back in there. It's about 12 inches. So I've decided to transfer all my tanks to air driven. So I've got sponge filters, two sponge filters at least in each tank. I've installed a sweet water regenerative air blower. So above me, I'm not sure if you can see that. All the air tubes are coming out of a piece of PVC. It also goes over to the, the six pack over there. going to be another stand below those uh, sockets or those plugs that you see. Shout out to my buddy Jake who installed the electrical. So I have been able to unplug and retire a bunch of lights, air pumps, and filters because now all filtration is on one plug-in item which is the air blower. I still have to run heaters in all the tanks and the lighting has been greatly reduced. So here's a, a pile of filters that are no longer running and pumps and lights. So I've been able to eliminate all those items. And I'll keep you posted on savings. We'll see what the electric bill says. Hope everybody's having a good night. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, jumbo stand.
and all the happy fish on it. We'll see you later.